What up, little chicken nuggets? It's me, Carl. <laughs> cool, right? <laughs> Whatever. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co host, Passy. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about you. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey there, sick intro, right? <laughs> Me and myself. Not a big deal. It is a big deal. Whatever. Wanna see something cool? Check this out. Pretty fly, right? It's a cactus. What the French call cacti. Yeah, I know French. I'm very cultured. I'm a very complex and intriguing individual. Hey. Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah, I do that sometimes. Out of respect for gravity and all. Sure. So I wanted to come by and ask if you're all right. Oh, uh, for sure. Never been better. <laughs> Soup's all chill-tastic. Soup's all chill-tastic? Soup's all chill-tastic. Super chill and fantastic. Did you make that up? It's a thing I heard. It's most definitely not. W-Y-S. What does that mean? Whatever you say. See, this is what I'm talking about. You're not making any sense. <laughs> well, maybe that's just because you don't speak cool. Cool isn't a language. <laughs> oh, it is. I'm speaking it. Oh, really? So how do you learn to speak cool? <laughs> Gassy, you don't learn it. Who learns to speak you? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You see, being cool is, it's like a, well, it's like if you did, um, <laughs> What am I saying? You can't explain it. All right, so it's lunchtime, and I'm guessing cool people don't eat regular food, right? Of course not. Cool people eat brioche buns, squid caviar, and uh, gelatin. Ah, that's too bad. I brought too much food in. I figured you'd want to share. Really? What do you got? Peanut butter and tuna fish sandwiches, your favorite. Really? With seaweed potato chips. Really? All right, I'll have some, please. Are you sure? I thought you were too cool. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not cool. I'm just really hungry. All right, here you go. Thanks. <laughs> yes. You know, Carl, you gotta be careful with this whole cool thing. In what way? I'm just saying, if you start worrying about being cool and doing what everyone else is doing, it might lead you to a bad place. Oh, wow. I never thought of that before. 
Isn't there a story in the Bible like that? Yep, the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. People of the city would start worshiping idols, and they would gather to bow to them. But the three of them chose not to bow down. Oh no, isn't that going to get them in trouble? You're right, and it did. But even after the king and his officials threatened them and told them to bow, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego chose to honor the one and only God. That's right. Then the king was like, well, I'm going to throw you in the fire. And they're like, well, we don't care because God, he's going to save us. And even if God doesn't, we're still going to worship him. Exactly. Then the king had them turn up the fire seven times hotter than usual. So hot that the guard that put them in there died from the flames. I forgot about that. What happened next? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in, and guess what? They didn't burn up. They even began walking around inside the furnace. And when the people on the outside looked in, they saw a fourth person. A lot of people think that was God. How cool is that? So cool. So when the king saw them, they pulled them out. They looked and saw that none of them had been burnt, not even their clothes. It was a miracle. And from then on, the king decided all the people in the land would worship the one true God. Wow. I would say those three were cool. Yeah, but not that kind of cool. What do you mean? Well, sometimes being cool means doing what everyone else is doing. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego didn't do that. They knew there was only one God, and they wouldn't bow to any idol no matter how much trouble they were going to get in. I guess you're right. I need to be cool just like them. It's just... It's just what? It's gonna be tough to do that. I mean, I don't know if I could be thrown into a furnace and have joy like they did. I mean, I just get scared thinking about it. It's okay, Carl. Just like God didn't allow them to be alone in the furnace, God also won't allow you to be alone in your life either. Even the scary parts. Well, that's good to know. Yep, and we can never forget that God gives us extraordinary courage. That's a good point, Cassie. I'd also like to add, Wait, what? Oh. That's our big idea! Today's big idea is God gives us extraordinary courage. This is a big one, so let's say it on the count of three. One. Two. Three. God gives us extraordinary courage! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Today we learned that being cool really isn't important. Right, Carl, and that God will always be with us through the tough times. Well, kids, thanks for watching. And make sure to avoid any furnaces because <laughs> they're hot. Really hot. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Yes.
to me It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how K-S-U-S Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go When you ask, he cares When you see God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you seek, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door